Welcome back to another Jacob Crypto Burry video. In this video, we're checking out Shiba Inu, looking at some Shiba Inu price and news. What is going to happen next with Shiba Inu meme coin right here, guys? Um, I think, you know, we can look at a bullish scenario, a bearish scenario, and fingers crossed, you know, we're just going to get the outcome that we all want, which is a big bump to the upside. So I think that will happen, but we need to, of course, remain patient for now. But there could still be some good dips along the way, okay? Um, now... Overall, Shiba sitting at $0.0000268, $15.79 dollars market capital. Um, overall, I think we're in a good place still, however, and uh, I think we just shouldn't really panic. I think panicking and reacting to the market right now, trying to go like heavy, long, heavy, short, is very, very risky. Now, if you're new to the channel, by the way, guys, Please subscribe if you do want to hit your crypto goals this 2024. Now let's crack on. So Shiba, according to Dollar Currency 21, I found this tweet here. Um, buyers maintain control as a slow correction unfolds. We are seeing that slow correction. Significant liquidity awaits below the FTR zone. 0.00. .00. 0019 hinting at potential price hunt so he thinks that we actually might come down even lower to this particular region here where it says the liquidity below this level will serve as ample fuel for the next impulsive move potentially forming a new all-time high so he thinks we'll see 0 0.000019 dollars first of course there's liquidity around this range that we're already at so here we can see below this FTR zone, significant liquidity awaits, suggesting a potential hunt by the price. And we can kind of like back sort of test that 0 0.19 you know, region that he's looking at because I do also have that region written in as another area of interest. This is a big point of interest, which is right here. I'll probably change this color, something a bit more sort of poppy, um, something a bit more catchy that i will remember with significant value but we can see right here um you know i don't think one five will happen i think that could happen in the future but you know right now we're still in sort of bull mode now if we just look at shiba inu and just take our fib fibonacci trail that does take us below the 0.618 and we do firstly have liquidity at 2362 which is a good point of interest here but i still think that 0.19 level that's going to be a humongous you know kind of fear that's going to be a big fearful move that would be very very fearful but you can see that we did before capture a huge buying um wick at that 0 0.00019 level so it is possible to see that happen but also we might just not see that happen at all we might only just go down a little bit and back to this 0.23 region and then back up to 2.5 and then back upwards like this. This could just happen instead. We could just blip down one more time to the 2.3 rather than the 1.9. And I think that's more likely to actually happen here for Shiba Inu. And looking at kind of the, the price action right here in the 4 hour. Well, it's looking like a bit of a bear flag to be honest. But when we look at the 30 minutes, you can see Shiba does keep trading in these W patterns. These bullish, you know, reversal patterns, these double bottoms. We are seeing that happen over and over again. So we could still see Shiba retest 2729 today. We could still potentially see Shiba break out of the resistance that we see here as well and even retest maybe levels like 275 um overall i think you know we're following the plan we're following the protocol which is trading sideways for a good you know 20 to 40 days which we have to we have to repeat what happened last time in 2021 but i think if this scenario played out here where we do correct one more time down to this 2-3 region, I think that could serve as a very juicy area to accumulate. So kind of anywhere just you know, in this region is, for me, good accumulation. I think it would be hard to perfectly get 2-3 without some buying orders. So I might set up some long orders actually for Shiba Inu at these particular regions, which I will probably do very soon. Um, so I will do that in this video at some point. I'm going to set up some long positions for Shiba Inu, and you can actually watch me do it on this video if you if you want. So um, we'll also include this to the video today as well. We've got a bit of a we've got a bit of funds here in the the wallet. We've got yeah, we've got some equity. So we're going to show you how I'm going to do that in this video too. Um, I'm going to set up a long order for this support region because I believe it's area of interest one, but I believe this is major area of interest. So I'm gonna put a massive, a humongous long position in at this 0 0.000019 region because I believe for some reason, if the market does go down, and let's say I'm away, I'm asleep, I'm on holiday, I, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, I'm going away next week. If that order fills, that could make potential bank right there. So fear in the markets, we're seeing, 
All right, I mean, guys, you know, we can't stay at extreme. <laughs> we can't stay at extreme greed forever, right? It just does not work like that. If you go all the way back over here, you can see the time, the duration spent at 90, you know, uh, fear and greed index. The time spent at, you know, post 90, 90 and above is very little. So you know now that being at 90 is a sell indicator, not a buy indicator. The buying indicators is where you see the relative strength index below 20. You buy below 20, you sell, you start to take profits above 80, 85, and especially above 90. Don't be afraid to take profits, not financial advice, but this is such a simple indicator and like, it's so underlooked, it's so undervalued, it's such a simple indicator that just gives you a true barometer and, you know, um, an indication of where you are in the markets. And I just think, you know, overall, we, we've got to use it more. Shiba Inu price prediction, Shiba patterns indicate incoming gains, analysts says. Shiba Inu, one of the industry's most popular meme coins and crypto ecosystems, trail behind other popular tokens, um, you know, like Dogecoin last week, with a price decline of 8% on the weekly scale. So this guy thinks a bullish rally is incoming. That is just a lazy chart. It doesn't really tell you much. It's just a symmetrical triangle. I mean, yeah, you're, you're just speculating it's going to pump to the upside. But overall, I think, um, you know, this could still fall and, and lose support. So it's not just bullish only, right? But yeah, I think overall it's looking good. The burns are increasing. This actually predicts here a 2x by mid-December. This means Shiba could surge to 0 0.000044, um, even potentially up to 0 0.000086. And the thing is, Shiba could still remove a zero. It could absolutely remove a zero still. Um, we've got to get back to at least a 50 billion um, valuation of market capital to see something like that happen as well guys so if you're a meme coin out there also a new project has entered the crypto space i want to share it with you lovely people today let's have a look at it so it is an ico it's on the erc20 network and this is a very very gorgeous looking pre-sale isn't it just look at it just just look would you look at that would you just look at that it just looks amazing. So welcome to Kangamoon, your adventure awaits. It says, enter the realm of Kangamoon, where every challenge is a chance to earn and victory counts and translates into real world value and rewards. So we can see right now, Kangaroo, they're in stage five of their ICO. 10% bonus available on all purchases. They've just raised over $4 million as well, which is quite a significant uh, milestone. We can see these are priced in at $0.0196. And um, when you buy Kang, um, I guess it takes you through to where you can create your account so you can stay on the note of the latest. But it looks like you've got some different options here to purchase, whether it be Solana, Tether, or USDC, Ethereum, BNB, Bitcoin, whatever it may be. So what actually is this? Well, it integrates GameFi and Play to Earn. So it says, embark on your quest for glory, assemble your champions, engage in epic battles, or bet on your favorite fighters to earn Kang tokens and exclusive rewards. Gain control of rare NFTs, and unlock exclusive Kenton and build alliances with fellow gamers. So this is pretty cool to see here. So how do you get into it? You register your details, you buy it. Once you're logged into the dashboard, you click buy now, you select the cryptocurrency and the amount of Kang that you're looking for, and then you can confirm the order and then join the community as well. So it does look pretty nice, um, Kangaroo, like being the overall theme, but you've got other sort of meme characters here as well in the Kangiverse, a very sort of vibrant, meme -y and fun looking ecosystem. So pretty cool stuff. We can see tokenomics, it's always important to explore this. Um, 1 billion is on the network ERC20. Kang is the ticker symbol. 600 million going to the pre-sale event as we can see. 100 million for earning and rewards. We've got 50 million for employees, founders and advisors. And then we can see a, uh, a split of 100 mil to marketing wallet buybacks and liquidity. And 150 million on in-game rewards right there as well, guys. So that's another cool thing to be looking at. But um, I just think it just looks amazing. Good marketing potential here. Very colorful, vibrant ecosystem. Kangamoon, 100% secure. I've already got the contract address written here, so you can have a look at that if you wish. Um, of course, it's not like a docs and KYC thing, but that's industry standard for uh, meme coins as we know by now. But here are a few uh, members of the team. You've got the CEO, the underboss, and the brains. They have also had their audit complete as well, guys. So security in the forefront of their mind. Phase one will be launch public pre-sale, then it goes into launch communities, Twitter, 
Telegram, Discord. Phase two will be implement token launch plans, launching of tokens, push mega awareness. And then here it actually hints at begin drive for listing on centralized exchange, which is absolutely huge. And then phase four, it will go into arcade side of things, game rewards, merchandise. So yeah, lots of long-term things and here phase six a speculation a big you know a big fantasy of listing on a top centralized exchange so that is very very good stuff right there um does look pretty cool remember this is not financial advice but if you want to grab some of these kang tokens the link is right down below for you guys you can sign up as well um if you wish so here we can see on twitter knockout news they raised four million dollars and they're getting quite a lot of impressions over there decent level of retweets likes too um and i guess yeah this is one step closer to the big kangaroo kanga moon launch so welcome to kanga moon community driven meme coin that blends meme culture offering social fight and play to earn features 16k followers right there guys does look pretty good you can see they're actually doing 500 dollars in kang tokens with community engagement campaign season so do check out kang down below worth taking a look at not financial advice but we are in a bull market and icos and pre-sales absolutely perform much better during you know the uptrend the bullish sort of season right 5.8k holders as well so that's pretty significant just from a few days ago right there so yeah link down below if you want to explore that one have a little look at it and uh, do your research folks moving back to shiba inu chat gpt predicts when shiba could hit 0 0.05 now i don't usually think chat gpt is that like accurate but it can come up with some spectacular things um so shiba of course had its all-time highs in 2021 that we remember we're waiting for those days to come back um but when will shiba inu hit 0 0.05 um wow i mean that is ridiculous look at that 11 years according to the popular ai chatbot chat gpt shiba could hit 0 0.05 by 2035 so that is 11 years from now now you'd have to wipe out three whole entire zeros so that's what a 10x 100x 1000x so they're saying 2000x i'm sorry but i'm gonna call bs on this one um, i'm gonna call bs to watch a guru because of the tokenomic supply the dilution i just simply i don't think that's possible it's not even talking about the market capital figure so i think that's a bit silly silly speculation 2050 however could be a bit different you know it's 26 years but i still think because of its tokenomics its flaws with the supply when you're in the trillions like this you're not going to see those you know massive unit costs without having a project valuation being you know worth 50 trillion or something crazy like that and that's just the sheer truth so yeah just want to put it out there guys if you're waiting for these numbers like this because articles like this are telling you it's going to happen then um yeah you should stop reading articles like this so mr page mamba mohan rajia that is not very nice no nah? anyways another little update here dogecoin 20 quick reminder 15 days 23 hours to go until dogecoin 20 is also done and dusted so this is another meme coin i saw you can check out the link is down below if you want to research it 15 days left to get in to dogecoin 20 um yeah feeling very good about this one as well so many hot icos and pre-sales out there at the moment it's just so hard to know which one to really pick and get into and if you guys are looking to grow your crypto portfolio do check out my patreon just down below where you can unlock trading signals early insights on straight to dex launches and the next big crypto calls all down there now we did say we will enter a um a position here on shiba inu so we are gonna actually place an order for shiba on um, a long position right here so let's just take it back to the charts so i firstly think a good area of interest for me is going to be the sort of two, i don't know if we're going to hit it for sure but the 2388 region is significant interest for me we're on 5x leverage so let's do 3500 times five what 17500 is that right i don't know i don't even know i don't even trust my own brain these days so yeah, 17.5k, that's a 3.5k overall margin, which isn't massive, but I think on the next position, I'm going to do a much larger one. So we will go long there. As for a stop loss here, um, I don't want to be too conservative, so I might go with the two sort of five region there. 
So what we're doing is we're effectively setting in a stop loss. So if, um, wait, what am I doing? We're going long, right? So we're setting a stop loss. Um, we're gonna put this stop loss in at around, if we're entering over here at the 2383 region, we're on a long position. I mean, we could easily refill down here, but on position one, we're gonna go over 224 on the stop loss. So we're just gonna hit that in there. We lose about 1.8K on that position. So that's that's really leaving a lot of room. And hopefully that would not happen. Um, so it would be good if that didn't happen. We could even just increase this number slightly and reduce the overall loss. It's really, of course, hard to say exactly where a coin is gonna go. And nobody makes billions of trading. And you're gonna make wins, you're gonna make losses. As long as you've got more wins than losses, that is absolutely fine. On a take profit side of things, we will, if we enter here, you know, happy to sort of ride that up to the 2772 region. So we'll get a couple Gs out of that, I reckon. That is not impressive, is it? That's not enough. Why, why is it only giving us this much if we're filling in on the 2378? Or have I just not done this right? Ah, limit order, silly me. So bear with guys, I, I don't really trade that often. If, if I'm honest, I outsource the talent. <laughs> because it's just so much easier to outsource talent these days than actually do it all yourself, which is fine. So we're gonna do the $17,500 and that gives us a margin of 3,500 USDT because we're on a 5X. Now with this entry at the 2388 region, I do believe that's a good region to enter. We will put our take profit at 2766. So with this in mind, we will be up a few thousand, I believe. So 2.77K on that. And now with a stop loss, we could then go a little bit more sort of balls deep. So 2243, I think we'll still go with the 2243. So we're gonna put that in, 2243. Now you can see if this goes well, we're gonna make 2.7K. If it doesn't go well, we lose 1K, blah, blah, blah. Um, in fact, I could I could be a bit bearish. I could be a bit bearish. If this feels at 23, I've got a really bad itch. If this feels at 23, maybe this take profit region is a little bit on the bearish side. Maybe I could move up to 0.3. This is me now showing you what greed looks like. So there we'll make 5K. I'm happy to enter this long. If it goes short, I will lose money, whatever. If it, if it goes to the upside on this fill order, I'm gonna make 5K, which would be really, really nice. So we can see that buy long is now entered. Now what we're also gonna do is speculate that, well actually, this is of course another big point of interest. Now I don't think it will feel perfectly the one nine on the dot. So I, I will assume that maybe if it drops, it just drops around here. It might hit like the one nine six five. Maybe it will just catch it just above that region. So what we'll do is now we're gonna enter another position. We're gonna go to the one nine six five, but we're gonna go seriously deep. We're gonna put a ten thousand dollar. <laughs> we're gonna go ten thousand dollar. That's that's what we're gonna do. Um, and we're going to change the stop loss to, I want to say 178 or 17. I mean, that's that's pretty gnarly, actually. We're going to have a conservative stop loss with a humongous. Now, we're going to have a little bit harsher. So look at that. 27.6K. If the same outcome happens, let's say if this order fills and then it comes down, then we dollar cost average into an even lower entry. We could write up a huge, huge price um, to basically, you know, over here, 268. That that would be wild if it came to 268 and then went to 0.3. So that is how we would set up on this particular occasion. Of course, not financial advice, but we're gonna open that long as well and put a $10,000 margin in because I just think it is possible that this play could happen. It doesn't look impossible. We already had this area of you know interest written in. And if we did get a volatility wick down to here, the buyback would be insane. The buyback would come so quickly. It would be so volatile. You wouldn't be able to catch it on a market. You wouldn't be able to sit in front of the screen and capture that because you might be doing other things like living life and just being out there. So that's why we're speculating on this one that this could happen. I'm not saying a 100% will. We might not even see two, three happen. But we have got now these two order placed in because we believe that there might be more negative continuation leading up to the halving then we might get another you know wave two for the meme coins anyways this video is dragging on a little bit i did kind of like screw up uh, what i was doing there because I, I left my um i was on market and then i was getting confused with my numbers but yeah always place your orders on limit of course that way they can fill and you can see we've got so many open orders just waiting to fill here as well um, and only a few have actually opened and they're not doing amazing. 
But, you know, overall, we're trying to grow the portfolio uh, to 150K would be nice from where we are. MEXE is the place that I love trading. You can also trade there. The link is down below. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Stay crypto safe. See you very soon.